Hi, welcome to Kelsey Ed, and today we're going to be looking at John von Neumann's Fetch Execute Cycle, the internal components of the computer system that are involved, and run through a Fetch Decode Execute Cycle a few times to perform a small calculation. This is specifically with the IGCSE Cambridge syllabus in mind, but is completely transferable to any other GCSE, IGCSE syllabus, and IB or A level. Okay, here we have a basic diagram of John von Neumann's fetch execute cycle, um, also called the fetch decode execute cycle. And over in this section in purple is the central processing unit. And it consists of four main parts that we need to know. Firstly, the control unit. Um, this is a director of operations and it uses levels and pulses that make paths between the registers and perform transfers within the processor. And next is the arithmetic logic unit. This one is for uh, logic operations, so the Boolean type of logic that you will have seen in logic gates like AND, OR and NOT, as well as arithmetic operations such as addition, which is what we will look at today. Now, down here is the registers. They are a temporary memory location for while the processor is running and performing its processes and the fetch execute cycle. Then we have the systems bus, which consists of three different buses that together will reference the memory addresses and locations um, and communicate data back and forward between the main memory, uh, secondary memory devices, such as your hard drive inside of the computer or a memory stick as an external device, and also your I.O. devices, so your input and output devices. Um, and instructions could include um, performing a calculation in memory, reading and writing the data from storage, or just sending signals to these I.O. devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through a simple program and look at how the steps of the processor would complete this. So we're going to be using the memory address locations here, 0 to 6. OK, so what we're going to do now is complete a couple of executions of the fetch execute cycle to perform a very simple calculation. Now, in reality, mu multiple millions, billions of processes are occurring very, very quickly. But we will just do one very slowly so you can understand the process. And basically, we're going to load the value in memory location 6 and then add the value in memory location 4 and store it to memory location five. So how does that occur using each of these five registers and our buses? Okay, so at the very start is the program counter. Now the program counter will store the address of the next instruction that needs to be fetched. And we're gonna start that at zero. Then whatever is in the program counter will then be copied in to MAR, the memory address register, so zero. The address bus will then carry this address to the correct memory location, which is here, inside of RAM. So the data bus then takes that data, the contents of this, so load six, it will take that content, retrieve it, and bring it back to the MDR, the memory data register. So load six. This is temporarily stored here and then loaded into the current instruction register. And the program counter will then be incremented by one. And that's our first fetch. Next, the computer needs to decode the instruction, okay? 
So here in the current instruction register, it will decode what that instruction means um, based on the assembly language. So we have machine code, assembly language, and then our higher level programming languages. So the assembly language is a low level programming language that the computer will then decode and execute. So the execution would be taking the, mem the address bus down to memory location six and using the data bus to then load the value which is inside of the memory location six. And that value is a binary number, a byte of data worth the binary value four or the deanery value four. So that's our first instruction, okay? That's the first complete cycle that we've now done. So now the program counter is on one, which will then be copied into the memory address register. The address bus will then go to the memory location one, and the data bus will retrieve the data and bring it into the memory data register. This is temporarily stored here and then copied across into the current instruction register and the program counter is incremented by one. So we've done another complete fetch now. So it will then decode the assembly language, which is to add the memory location four. So the address bus will then travel along, come to address location four. This data will then be taken by the data bus and is added to the value in the accumulator. So here is the binary value four. This location, then the value inside of the address is a three, binary three. So binary three plus binary four equals binary seven. So if we adjust this number, we have the binary value seven. So now we've done our second full fetch decode execute. Next, we go back to the program counter, which is set to two. We'll copy that into the memory address re register. The address bus will then travel along to the memory location and identify the contents, which is copied and taken by the data bus to the data register. That is a temporary store, so it's then put into the current instruction register and the program counter would be incremented again. So now that instruction is decoded. Um, so store to address location five. So the value in the accumulator, which is a binary seven, is now copied and stored into the memory location five. So now the data bus has not only loaded the value of a memory location, it's also stored a value to a memory location. So that's why it's bidirectional. And essentially it's now completed a read write operation. Also during this time we have the control bus and that is synchronizing the control signals, both internal and external to the components of the computer system. Um, and this could include things like the read-write signals and interrupts. So overall, that's the fetch execute cycle. We've performed a simple calculation and three executions of the cycle in total. So I hope that was helpful and uh, catch you next time. Bye.